Which are the fundamental challenges in economic theory? Well, I would uh, distinguish between kind of fundamental challenges in the economy and fundamental challenges in economics. Let me start with the fundamental challenges in the field of economics as a yeah. scientific field. Yes. Um, here I think it's important uh, really to pay more attention to disequilibrium and dynamics, uh, to nonlinearity, to neighborhood and network effects, um, to the importance of small-scale systems and production because they often behave in a different way, uh, to noise, to correlations, um, moreover to everything which is special to humans like psychology, social behavior yeah. uh, and all this and uh, last but not least the role of information and uh, I think we are kind of an information species. Information is interesting for us, sometimes more interesting than other things, like material things. And that means it has a huge impact on our behavior and it's not really in the center of economic theory. I've been thinking a lot about this and came to the conclusion that most likely the concept of the homo economicus is giving a misleading picture of humans and I believe that the concept of the homo socialis that I've recently been deriving from evolutionary and economic approaches, interestingly enough, that this concept of um, other regarding decision making is much more powerful to understand what is going on in our world, in particular in the network world we have created. I think social media are also potentially transforming the way people are interacting and behaving. They allow people in principle to coordinate themselves with each other. At the moment we are still using it mainly for entertainment, but I think in the future it will be a tool for co-creation, for production and in particular to enable what we call prosumers. So prosumers are basically consumers which are not just passively consuming but also actively uh, contributing to production processes. So um, they will basically um, take part in the creation of ideas and in the production of products much more than we have it today. I think that optimization and planning is not a suitable paradigm actually for complex systems that are quickly changing. In these kinds of systems it's much more important to be able to flexibly adapt to a quickly changing situation and uh, the concepts of evolution and co-evolution are much more important, I think, than optimization because optimization assumes a certain goal function. But who sets the goal function? It may change, you know, and whether the choice of a goal function gives good results or bad results very much depends also on what others are doing, other companies, the customers and so on. And we don't have until today a method to systematically specify the, the goal function, you know, so that's basically decided by somebody. But uh, evolution has this consideration of the context. So fitness is not basically given just uh, as a property of a certain species, but it always depends on the other species in the environmental conditions, what your fitness really is. And that's important to consider. How technological development will change the modeling and simulation activities and which uh, effect uh, this change will have on how we study economic theory? So, in fact, big data is a game changer. In the past, we were living in an information poor situation, in particular in the social sciences. And now we are entering an age of more information than ever, and maybe more information than needed, where it will be a crucial point to identify the bits of information that are really important and useful. But anyway, <coughs> 
Overcoming the scarcity of information is an important point. <coughs> um, then the question, of course, is where does this information come from? Is it up to date? That's why we have been developing this concept of the planetary nervous system, which would do reality mining. Today we're entering a Google search if we want to have some information, and we get some information from a database that uh, Google has filled in the past. But in the future it will basically trigger off a real-time measurement process. So if I want to know what's the temperature in Stuttgart or in Munich or New York at this time, um, it would trigger off a measurement process. If I want to know what is the level of happiness in London at this moment, it would trigger off a measurement process. If I want to, to know what are the gas prices or what is the level of congestion, it would trigger off a measurement process. Um, so I think that will really change a lot. And uh, the other point is that I think those data should be opened to everybody because then it creates most potentials for our society, for the economy and for the citizen. It's like language. Just assume that we would own words like you had a hundred words and I had a hundred words and everybody else owned some words and each time we wanted to talk to each other we would have to pay for the words that we don't own. So that would be an awkward situation and communication would not be efficient at all. So we need to have uh, platforms where we share data, models and uh, opinions, ratings for example. So I imagine a global participatory platform where people can upload their data, their computer algorithms, their ratings, their comments and whatever and would share it with others. It could be for free or for a fee, so you could also earn a little bit of money with it and everybody could use those data and uh, those algorithms and based on their experience they would rate it. Was it a good data set? Was it a useful algorithm or was it not satisfactory? So eventually we would have an information ecosystem that would be better and better and better and through this public feedback and uh, well also criticism that's possible um, regarding the models that are being uploaded, I think we will have a very quick evolution of uh, the level of quality while if the very same thing is developed in a company or in an institution which is closed and which is not exposed to public questions, I think that will be a much slower development and it will always have basically a bias that is given by the purpose of the institution or by of the business. Mm -hmm.